I will repair this LG 1.5 ton mini split air conditioner motherboard. Another repair man has worked on this motherboard. The switching IC has already been removed from the motherboard. The work has been done over here by the other repairman. So let's see if I can repair it or not. And someone had already rejected this and written dead on this motherboard. I have checked the motherboard physically. I didn't find any damaged components in the motherboard. It is important to have the switching IC in the motherboard. So first, I will install the switching IC first. And other than this buck converter circuit has been installed in the motherboard, which drops the DC voltages in the circuit. Let me tell you what switching IC will be installed in this motherboard. It is in my hand. Let me show you its number. The number of the IC is TNY276PN. Let's install this IC and then I will pass electricity through this motherboard. For installing the IC, I will remove the solder from the holes of the switching IC pads. The heat is not passing through the solder. So I will fill it with new solder. It will make it easier to desolder the solder out of the holes. As you can see, the solder is now easily cleaning out the holes. Cleaning the holes takes a lot of time if I don't put in new solder. And it also not cleans properly. But this way, it is a lot easier. The holes have been cleaned nicely. The IC has been installed in the motherboard now. Now this LG motherboard has another mistake. Coil 1 and coil 2 is written with these thimbles. Someone has directly installed wires with these coils, which is completely wrong. Most of my friends would know a reactor or a choke is installed with it. It should always be tested with the reactor. It is a good practice that creates less chance of the motherboard going bad. Now I will connect the reactor to the motherboard. And now I will power on the motherboard by passing electricity through it. And see this the motherboard has switched on. It also switched the other relay. Now the motherboard should show an error. All the switches in the motherboard have turned off, and it has started blinking an error. Let's check how many time the LED lights blinks. 1, 2, 3, and 4. The LED light is blinking 4 times. And let me check what this problem is. This LED light was blinking 4 times because the sensor was not installed in the system. Now I will install the sensor in the motherboard, and I am pretty sure it will not show the blinking. Now we are finding the LG Indoor Mini Split Air Conditioner Unit. For starting the outdoor unit, we need it. Daniel is finding the indoor unit. And see where it is placed. He has found the unit. I have attached the indoor unit with the outdoor motherboard. Now blink is shown on the motherboard as the LED light is stable. A quick blink is shown, meaning the motherboard works fine. I have attached the compressor with it. 
Let's wait to see whether this motherboard starts the compressor or not. The motherboard has started the compressor. All phases on the UVW analyzer are fine. The compressor is also working fine. And the motherboard has stopped the compressor. Let's check what problem it is showing. The motherboard has started to blink. And I know the DC fan blower motor is not installed with the motherboard. And the motherboard is showing the DC fan blower motor error. I don't have the DC fan blower motor of this motherboard. This means the motherboard was not dead. And you saw what the issue was in it and how I fixed it. And I don't get why another repairman rejected this motherboard. But I have successfully fixed this LG Outdoor motherboard. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos. And subscribe. Thank you.